Hello everyone and welcome back to Pit People. We just got done with the first part of the game and we ran into this like coliseum type area and we ended the video. This is like a tournament area. So let's go check it out I guess. See what it's all about. The Pit. You have zero tournament points today. We can like adventure around in here. And if you don't know what Pit People is and you're just tuning in, Pit People is a game where it is a turn-based combat system and it has a really, really fun adventure behind it. I've really been enjoying it. A demi-clops. May you join us in the fight in the pit. Let us join souls, okay. Sure. And there's an online co-op, which is pretty cool too. Oh god. What is going on? Are they pulling some like Dragon Ball Z stuff where they like fuse together? <laughs> this game's so weird. I love it. This game's so weird. If you didn't see the first part, you get a little bit of the backstory behind the princess and the main character, Horatio, the blueberry farmer. I have hiccups, I'm sorry. Alright. So now... What just happened, right? What? Schnooky, schnooky, pokey, pokey! Welcome to the pit. Let's do it, man. Alright. So I'm curious to see all the different types of units that there are. What you can do online in terms of picking units. And now he has. Hmm. I should head to the front. Okay, that's good to know. So if you head to the front here, maybe he can block shots. I don't know if that matters. And now people with helmets are vulnerable to maces, so she should attack him. And then this guy, I mean, I don't really know what Yosef can all do here, but it looks like he doesn't have a shield, which is very important to know. Now, I'm not sure if he has two axes, if that means that he can attack twice, we'll see. But I'm gonna head to the front here with Horatio the best I can, and we're gonna end the turn and see what happens. So he does attack. Okay, he attacks twice, that's good to know. And now, will I block shots? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, ow! Okay, I didn't block shots very well. I'm blocking a few, though. So positioning does matter in terms of arrows, which is good to know. Throwing axes have a chance to stun your enemies. To throw, leave a hex between you and your target. Oh, really? Okay, well, you're gonna stay right there. Leave a hex in between the targets. So if I go, like, right here, then you'll attack her. Right, and then I can put... I can put you right here to attack her. This should work, right? And again, you're gonna stay right here and attack him. Let's see what happens. Cool! This is... this is neat, man. I love strategy games. I was saying that last episode, I love them. I love the crocodile on that guy's head, too. <laughs> and I think part of what really makes... Bring the Sprickled Horseman! Part of what I really like about this game and what I really enjoy about it is the humor, the lightheartedness. That's something I always appreciate in games, and they're nailing it here. <laughs> Look at that thing! That is- Oh no, he's choking to death. Oh god. The Speckled Horseman? It's a dude with guns! This is cheap! We got bows and arrows and a picket fence, and you got guns? Position your shield user to protect other fighters. Okay. Well... Maybe if I put her back here, that'll do a little bit better job of that, and then I can stuff you back here. I wonder if he can attack through me. Let's try that. I can cycle fighters like this? Oh, okay. Let's do this then. Okay, so I can attack over myself, which is good to know. And that dude's almost dead. Oh god. He's making me nervous. So I did position myself properly though, because look, it's all hitting my shield. Dude, I like this! I can throw my axes to stun. Yes, you can. So, that's probably like, hint, hint, I should stun this guy, right? But I can't really do that yet because we don't have positioning. So I'm going to have to do this one more time. I'm going to have to just have her attack you. Again. And then you're going to attack... You're just going to stand still, right? Alright, let's try this. And she's dead. Double kill. Ooh, did we get a bonus for that? Now he's moving in. And he's not shooting anymore. I wonder if he can shoot if there's someone next to him. Oh, okay. One thing I really like about the strategy aspect of this is that each unit definitely has like some sort of thing that makes it matter. They're not they're not just throwaway units, you know what I mean? 
And now, you can go ahead and smack him up, right? And then we're just gonna stay- yeah. Yeah, this should work. We're just gonna stay like this. Ooh, get wrecked! Speckled Horseman! Or was the Speckled Horseman the giraffe? I get it now. <laughs> that just sunk in. And now, if I want to be really strategic about this, I would imagine what I want to do is put her right there, put him right here. And I'll keep... I'll keep him back here, right? Let's try that. Everybody's gonna move around. You're gonna smack him up, he's gonna die, so it doesn't matter. I don't know if the... Picket fence is gonna block, though. So I have to be directly in front of them. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. But now, really, all we have to do is just, like, charge him, right? And who am I using right now? I'm using you. So I'm gonna put you right there. Is he... He's too far away to get there and actually hit him, so he's just gonna move, and then she's also just gonna move. And then we go through our turn, right? Oh! Get wrecked, son! Cool. This is so great. I like the combat, too. Like, it's actually really well done. And now you can stay there. You can go there. I don't know if I'll... Ooh, maybe I can try this. Yep, he's gone. He's gone! Cool! And now this was the tournament, so I don't think this is part of the story, right? MVP. Okay, so we have damage, tank, and healing on your stats here, and utility. I think utility is going to be really interesting. Utility probably has something to do with the stuns. And then I wonder what else it would have to do with it. I don't know. Maybe the fact that he can throw? Hmm. They had won the battle. Horatio kissed Joseph on the lips and what? then stabbed him in the stomach. What? Now, oh, we killed him. You really should listen to me, Horatio. <laughs> so choose your hero. A hero is stronger. It has more health. Oh, really? So if he's stronger and has more health, I would think... I mean, I guess it really depends, because if you take a look here, he can stun, she can break helmets, and then he can block. And if he's the tank, I want him to eat up as much damage as I can, so I'd probably want him to have more health. And he's kind of weak with his attack anyway. Hmm. Blue Knight, Red Knight, Orange Knight. Since you played Battle Block Theater, you deserve some loot. I think, did it say since I played Castle Crashers? So I got some items here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I was told you I played these before. The Theater Guard! <coughs> The Emperor says you fight well. He gives you a house. Here, take one by the market. What? I get a free house? This is great. Oh, so this is actually a really big area. Insane difficulty. This is probably music. I don't know. Oh, this is how you play online. Okay, with the really crappy phone booth. Can't play online yet. Let's go to the house. Right. And then player two can set up if they wanted to, but I can set up my team here, and then it shows what the stats are, right? This is so cool! So his blocking's through the roof, his defense is low. She has almost no defense, but her damage is... Oh wow, her damage isn't even that great. Okay, take a look at this. So her ratio is actually like the best overall. There's weight in pounds. I don't know what that's all about. Huh. She's good at dodging though. So Horatio is like the man, man. And it shows how much health they have, how much they can move each turn. Right. And then, what is this? Can I buy new people? Is that what this is all about? Because I have 122 gold. What does this do? Right, so I think I have one more free slot to get another person, and then I can unlock other slots with gold, right? 914.50? That's the impression I'm under. But I think I'm pretty okay with him. I can probably customize him though, right? Oh, dude, I can customize him! This is so great! And I can put a hat on him. Okay. I kind of like Horatio how he is though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm really digging the stash. But I can get- I can get rid of the mustache, I can give him a hat, and I can turn him into Hattie Haddington. Hattie Haddington's pretty cool. But I really like Horatio as he is. So let's see if I can- can I customize his weapon? I don't have any other weapons. And I can customize his shields too. And see, so he's the hero. Okay, I have him selected as the hero or not the hero. Okay. And then I can customize her. What do I have for her? Okay. And then the hats will probably all be the same. But now, oh, take a look at this. There's actually reason for me to do that, though. So if you take a look here, there's defense you get with the hats versus not wearing a hat. Right? Right, right, right? Yeah, so if I'm wearing one of those hats... I get something out of that, so that's good to know. Do I have any other weapons? Probably not. And your shield sucks. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna have her be the princess, and then I think. Oh, okay, never mind. Snooky pokey, but stoody do. Linky winky, binky bong bong. Hello, snada, and tonky wonka wonky nong. How about you? Linky winky bong bong. <laughs> I love this man. Wow, that's some house. Uh, you know, we had some trouble with the bullies by the beach. Now that you're. Oh, pfft, now that you owe the emperor or anything. To the gates! <laughs> so now we gotta go to the gates. Sure, let's do it. I didn't get any of my customizations on, but that's okay. I can go back to it another time. And now I can go to the gates. If I'm lost, I press B, apparently. Huh. Doesn't do anything. Now, what happens if I change this? Does this do anything? Okay, now I can play with a mouse and keyboard like this. Oh, dude, I'm... I didn't even realize I have a caravan. And I can click like this. Okay, so I can just, like, hold my mouse and this is how I move. Okay, that's good to know. In case you don't have a controller. So we gotta go to the bully beach, I guess? And see what's going on over here. What happened right here, by the way? Oh, this is the bear! If you watch the first episode, make sure you do if you haven't. You'll be able to learn a little bit about the bear. But the bear is the reason why this world is in a state of dystopian... <laughs> dystopian... Peril. <laughs> Let's go take this guy down, huh? Right. Wow, Eddie Veronica said you were cool. The coolest, I mean, look at this sweet ride. <laughs> but then your friends killed everyone at the beach party. Eh, don't be such a drag. <laughs> Let's go sacrifice you to the chog. Oh, we gotta save her now. Lorraine, I'll save you. Come on, we're blowing this joint. Oh, God. No, don't take her. He's a shark, so he's just gonna go into the water, right? Hold on, you cannot do that! Watch me, Pops. So he's gonna swim into the water. God dang it. Okay, well, let's take these guys out here. And you can see a little bit more about how the combat works. I'm learning more about the combat, too. This is my first time playing all these things. Alright. So they missed. Your fighters have a mind of their own. You tell them where to go, but they decide who to attack. That's what I kind of was realizing. So we need to be a little bit more strategic about that. So if I put you right here... Maybe I put you in front because you have a shield? I don't know if these guys have helmets or not. I don't know if, the, if these things that they're wearing count as helmets. Can you wrap around? No, you can't. So... I think I'll go over here just in case. But now we're going to try to hit them as best we can, right? Okay, and now they have shields, so maybe him throwing doesn't actually do that much. But now they're wrapping around to go grab the princess, and then... Oh, dude, they're hitting her. Okay. Okay. Right, and now this guy... This guy right here is almost dead. We got a guy with, back there with the arrows. I don't really know what the car's all about. I feel like that's going to mean something. It's not just... It's not just the scenery. So, I mean, I may as well just keep... Oh, no, I don't want to keep them all right here. But, you know, part of me wants to bring her back a little bit so she doesn't get jumped, right? So I'm going to bring her right here and then end it. Oh, that's a helmet? That does count as a helmet. You see that? Okay, that's good to know. Dude, he's getting wrecked. Okay. Okay. Let's stay here. Yep, those are helmets. Okay. Right, right, right. I'm kind of nervous about the big dude, man. Oh, God. Ah! Ow! Okay, we have to... Hey, how come I can see how close I am to death? So we have Team HP, Horatio. Okay, I didn't even notice that. We joined souls, remember? Cyclops powers, dude! <laughs> uh, no time to explain. Okay. And then I can switch between each character here. It shows how close they are to death and how many move spots they have. Right! Okay, so what I want to do here... Is I want to put you right here. And I want to keep you right there. And I want to move you over here. And then hopefully they'll be able to take each other out. Hoping that Horatio attacks the person in the hood. You go after the shark guy, and we just end it. Ooh! Level up, baby! He's dying, though. Whoa! Oh, dude, the club guy isn't as strong as I figured he'd be. 
Someone else is hitting her, by the way. Okay, so how's Horatio doing? He's actually doing really well because he leveled up. I mean... Hell, I'm gonna keep everybody where they're at. Boom! There we go. Ow! Oh, he ha Okay, so he can hit multiple areas. I see what's going on here. And then... I'm gonna move... Hmm. I'm gonna move you right here. And then he should be able to attack him, right? There we go, everybody's leveling up! And then we can take out this last guy by teaming up on him. <laughs> you catch cruising for a boozing! <laughs> Donnie the chalk. Alright. Oh! Oh. Okay, so he can move me. Interesting. I wonder if I should... Alright. Okay. Oh, no, well, I got an idea then. I'm gonna bring her... No, no, no. I'm gonna bring her right here, and then see if that works out. Hmm. Oh, he only moves one at a time? When you're slowed. Oh, man. Huh. I was hoping I was could move two there, because I, I can usually move four, I believe, right? So I'm gonna put you right here. And then I'm gonna bring you right here. And then just wreck on him, huh? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, you're gonna go right there. You're gonna stay right there. Let's do it. Oh no! No! No, no, I want it! Oh, I didn't realize what I was doing! Crap! Yosef, no! Okay, that's fine. I wanted to move Horatio in. Okay, so... Horatio, you stay, and then you go right there. And now it'll work, right? And he's got a helmet on. Can I stun him, though? He probably- he seems a little too dumb to be stunned. <laughs> Ow! Quit it! It's gonna take us so long to get over to that arrow guy. But we're almost done with him. So- but you gotta move back here, and you're super slow now. I can push you right there, and then you can just straight up attack him, right? But I don't know if I even want that. Hmm. Let's try it anyway. So let's do it! Because again, I can't do much against him with Horatio. Quit it! <laughs> this is hard when you keep bumping me over. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start having him go over that way. And are you strong enough now? Yeah, you're good. See, so yeah, let's start moving a guy on over to the arrow guy. And then they'll be able to finish off what's his nuts right here. Right. Yeah, we got this under control. So now we just gotta go over there to finish off arrow dude. And I move much faster now. And I'm gonna move you over here just in case you need help, but we should be good. There we go. Cool! And now I wonder if I should have had Yosef kill him, if it matters. Oh my god! Finally, the new world! I recruit the Dora. Will you be my guides? Uh, yeah, sure. So we just get a new person? Oh, we did. Sophia's on our team now. Cool. And we killed Donnie the Chog. Oh, and we're getting all this stuff up top. Can I actually look at that? Does it tell me what it is? It doesn't really tell me what it is, but we got a bunch of stuff. Okay. With the quest completed, you can see our party in the top left-hand corner. This is cool. I love this. I love the style. I love the... What? Excuse me? I love the humor, I love everything. So, we got a bunch in our caravan here right now, don't we? Well, let's go back here and see what happens. Oh! Oh god, I didn't mean to fight. What is this little guy doing here? Maybe it's not a fight. Security checkpoint. Place items here and scram. <laughs> I don't trust it. <gasps> Don't do it! Mm. So yum, no. yum. <gasps> <gasps> so is that how you heal? Eating cupcakes? <laughs> Look now, my friends, I see a potential recruit! The short one smells delicious, no? 
What's that? Is someone coming to wish this? <laughs> you gotta do it. Show ya. And he's screwed. Screwed. Hands off, I'm robbing you, remember? I claim this cupcake for Queen Isabella of Spain. How to recruit fighters? Kill everyone except your recruit. Throw net at your recruits. Oh, really? Take fighter home. Let's do it! Let's get a new cupcake recruit, man. I love this game. I love it so much. So we're gonna recruit the gluten cupcake. <laughs> and we need to keep Sophia alive. She must have our net. She definitely has the net. Okay, so these dudes don't really seem like they're that dangerous. So I'll put you right there. And then, oh, dude, our health stays low from the previous battle. It doesn't refresh every time. That's good to know. And then I'll keep you where you were. I don't really need to use you at all, do I? And then, yeah, let's do this. Let's take them all out. Right? Let's go. We should dominate them. Not bad. These guys are stronger than I was expecting, for sure. Ow! She's not gonna get hurt, though. She'll be fine. We're not gonna get killed. We'll be able to get the cupcake. It seems like the cupcake is more of a support unit, and it can heal. That's the vibe I got from the cutscene, so I really want that on my team. So I'll keep you right there to keep working on him, and then I'll move her ratio up, I think? Yeah, let's do that. So I'll keep you there, and I'll move her ratio right here. And actually, what I probably should do... Hmm, who am I now? I'll bring you all the way around. How about that? Let's try that out. So you can keep working on him. Finish that guy off. It seems like the person who gets the experience is the one who gets the final blow, too. So that's like another bit of strategy to keep in mind. Will you quit shooting her? Alright, and now you can go... You two can go work on him. You can even just stay there with him. Or really, I could... If I do this... If I do this, I can get the stun on him. And we're gonna move in up here with Horatio and Sophia and try to get the cupcake. Right? Let's do it. So boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Oh, so Keep healing or you'll wish you'd never been baked. More Frosty coming right up. Oh, so he's getting healed by him. Okay. Right. Huh. And you know, I almost wonder, he's blocking all these shots. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna attack him. I wonder if I'm further ahead to move him up close. Because then he won't have his stuff blocked by the shield. You know what I mean? So let's see. Now they're gonna work on him. Are they gonna be able to finish him? Hmm. He is getting quite a bit of health, so I'm gonna keep you where you're at. And I'm gonna move you up here. And we'll bring you up here, too. And we really just need to, like, pounce on this guy, don't we? How far back can we go? Oh, wow, there's a lot more... There's a lot more going on over here. There might be another fight coming. Okay. So, yeah, he's gonna be really helpful. And again, I'll just keep you where you're at. So... Keep you right... No, 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 no. Keep you right there. But I want to move her up a little bit more. Even though she can't fight and attack, I want her to be able to move forward. And then he might be able to hit him, though. We'll see. Sure enough. So one more turn and it's over for him. Theoretically. Yeah, let's just do it. Cool. So now we have to defeat the Bridgeside Bandit Gang. Oh, we just did that. And now we need to throw the net, right? So, who has the net? You have the net. How do I do this, though? I see, like, move in right here? Maybe. I don't know. Aha, recruited. Recruit Gluten the Cupcake. <laughs> and we kept Sophia alive. I must make a note of this to the survival guide. So I wonder if you lose a person if they're gone or if they can come back. I would think that they can come back because they seem really crucial to the story, right? A delicious little healer. When they fling frosting, they're actually sacrificing, oh, their own health. So that's really important to know. Dude, look at the drawings of this cupcake. And we have this journal here that tells us all the different things we could do. Achievements, cupcake, current tasks. Anything else? Okay. Cool! 
And now, if you remember, at the tournament area, we can only have four people. We can unlock five and six, but we can only have four people right now. So we have to go un unlock that. But seeing as how... Oh, oh, I'm returning this stuff to, to the king. To a less boring area. What? You just took the whole damn place? What? Okay, and then some of the things that we were getting from the battles, we have the Amazer, whatever that is. It looks like a shoop de whoop But these must have been some of the items that we got from our loot. And we got a ton! A ton! We definitely have enough to buy another spot. And if we can sell items, we even we probably will too. I'll be waiting by the city gate. You unlocked insane mode. The insane mode machine is located in the city. Use it to toggle insane difficulty settings on and off. All right, you unlocked the space phone. Space phone is located in the city. Use it to play online and invite friends. Okay. Dude, this city is bumping. And now I can leave to go to a new area, but I want to check out this area right here, which is where we buy things, right? So plus... Right, plus 900. We have... Another spot open now, and that's where we can put gluten. Right? Totally! That's really cool. And then I also got some new items. I have 1400 gold, so I can't unlock the sixth slot yet. But we have the Amazer. What does this do? Is it just like... Is it... Is that all that is? Is just... Looks? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I really don't know. But we also have helmets. So I might want to put a helmet on him. Seeing as how he's the one always in the front lines. And then... I wonder if I can put that helmet on any other anybody else? I can put these on anybody, right. And then can I change who has... Oh, I can- I can make it so she has the... Yosef, okay. Interesting. Really interesting. Huh. And then weapons. I wonder if that's- I wonder if the bonus she has is because of the mace, or if, like, all these characters are... Like, vanilla. And it doesn't matter who has what. So the Emerald Enforcer, the Lollipop, hey, that's mine. And these don't really seem to have any sort of difference in attack. Right? From what I'm able to tell? It just looks cooler. Right. Alright, so we got the Lollipop now, and we have these different swords. Right, so let's see here. And then for the other characters... Right. Okay, so they do kind of have a certain utility, though. Alright, let's see here. What do you all have? Oh, I can change his cupcakes. I can do vanilla or raspberry swirl. <laughs> I'm feeling the raspberry swirl. And then what is this? Oh. I can put waffle in there or no waffle. Alright, so maybe you guys- uh-oh. Maybe you guys can inform me as to, like, what all goes into what with the... With the bonuses and things like that, but this is all really cool. And, you know, maybe I should get our dude here... Our main dude, a different weapon here, because he's currently using the box cutter. I can give him the pizza cutter. It doesn't seem to make a difference, though, on the stats, from what I'm able to tell. Huh. Can I upgrade my shield? No, I cannot. But I can have different- I can- I have different throwing item. Right. And so for him, that's a big deal. <laughs> I can throw- I can throw thumbtacks? That's amazing! I'm throwing thumbtacks, man! Look at him! He looks amazing! I love him! The shoop to whoop with the thumbtacks! That's awesome! Okay! Well! I think it's about time we end this here, guys. Can I save? Is there a save option? It must auto-save. It's gotta be what it is. So! I'm digging this so far. I hope you guys are too. We played a little bit more of this. If you guys want to see more, let me know by leaving a like. That's how I can tell. We might play it on stream since we stream here twice a day. I'm digging it though, man. I think this is really cool. I would love to keep playing through this. If you guys want to keep seeing more, you guys let me know by, again, leaving a comment, leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't already. That's a really good way to get in on more of this. But I think this is so cool. So, thank you guys. This is Pit People by Behemoth. If you guys want to see more, I'll see you in the next video.